All right, Nate, let's talk about the Alabama Crimson Tide. Ever since Coach DeBoer has come over, there's a lot of turmoil at first, a lot of changing around of, from recruits. I think things have settled down drastically. And now we're even seeing guys that previously flipped from Alabama now are starting to come back. They're saying, hey, maybe I was a little bit brash at first. I think Alabama's going to be fine. It's going to be the place to be. Let's get into this article and we can talk more about it on the other side. This is from over on On3 Sports. It says, Four-star defensive lineman Antonio Coleman of Saraland High School in Alabama flipped his commitment from Auburn to Alabama Saturday afternoon. The six-foot-two, 280-pounder previously flipped from Alabama to Auburn in December. The Yellowhammer State defensive lineman joins Coach Kellen DeBoer and Crimson Tide's 2025 class. He's accompanied by four-star running back Anthony Rogers and three-star linebacker Miles Johnson. Nick, I think this just shows that things are changing down in Tuscaloosa. I think the tide, no pun intended, is turning. Guys are starting to come back to Alabama. I think this is really interesting. Curious what your thoughts are, but Alabama fans, in the comment section below, we've seen this happen time and time again now. We see Coleman as a guy who got a little bit nervous. He left Alabama, went to Auburn, and now he's coming back. Is there any more commits that you think maybe or have a good chance of coming back to Alabama after they've flipped their commitments? Let us know who you are thinking about in the comment section below. But Nick, what are your thoughts on this latest pickup by Alabama? I think it just speaks to a a real reality that's going to coming to Tuscaloosa and it's going to probably scare most of their competition in the SEC is that the the thought that the era of Alabama's dominance was now going to be completely reversed due to the retiring of Nick Saban. That's what a lot of programs like Auburn, for example, basically are betting their entire existence on. And frankly, that's just not going to happen. DeBoer has proved it, right? Look, obviously a couple of years ago, if you would have said, hey, an Auburn commit flipped from Auburn to Alabama, that would be expected. That's what happened all the time with the Saban era, with how good of a job they did in recruiting and making sure they stay on recruits and commits and getting them to come to Tuscaloosa if it was a guy they really targeted. Obviously, a lot of the competition was looking at Alabama leaving and thinking, all right, now's our time to shine. We are now going to flip the switch. We are going to do a phenomenal job in recruiting. The era of Alabama's dominance in this game, especially in the SEC West, is over. And frankly, it's not over. And Caleb DeBoer has proven that. And I think this is just one commit, but I think we're starting to see a more stabilizing effect over the entire landscape in Alabama and in the SEC. We're seeing a lot of big name people focus on the Crimson Tide. We're we're seeing a lot of recruits and commits and potential commits in the 2025 class coming out and still saying incredible things about Alabama. There's been a lot of report that some kids saying, listen, I was really impressed with the Tide when Saban was there. I'm kind of paraphrasing here. I was a little concerned for a second, but I'm still all about the tie. They're still calling. They're still communicating with me. They're on the top of my list still. We're hearing that all over the recruiting landscape. It's a credit to DeBoer. It's a credit to the Alabama Athletic Department. Obviously, a big part of that is the Alabama mystique. But again, DeBoer doing a phenomenal job stabilizing, calming the storm, riding the ship, getting everything headed in the right direction. And now he's flipping commits. I think the future in Tuscaloosa continues to re- remain extremely bright. I think schematically in terms of his X's and O's, DeBoer is a phenomenal coach. The one question mark to, to me would be how would he handle recruiting in the SEC? Well, reports like this tells me and, and basically tells the college football world, DeBoer can handle it just fine. Yeah, Nick, and I don't think it's even just coach DeBoer because with Saban leaving, a lot of people are probably, especially I think a guy like Coleman is wondering about the defensive side of the ball and if that's going to take a hit, what things are going to happen. And associate head coach Freddie Roach and D-line coach, he's been a big part of keeping this D-line together. Alabama has produced dominant D-linemen year in and year out, time and time again. And even in his comments, uh, Coleman said he said he feels like Coach Roach is solid and that this is the program that can develop him the best. So I think having a guy like Freddie Roach on that program as well as the new associate head coach with Kellen DeBoer, is the right move. I think that these guys paired up together are really going to make an impact and keep this Alabama train rolling. I don't think it's going to lose any steam. And I think that this team is going to start making a lot more news. Look to next year, this 2025 class, going to be a ton of top talent now considering Alabama as one of the top programs to go to once again. And I think it is important. Let's give some credit to DeBoer for recognizing the key players in terms of the recruiting landscape and not just replacing him with all of his own guys, right? There's been, a, we see this a lot of times, new coaches come in and they sit there and say, hey, old staff, 
See you later. We got it. My own guys. I've got my own recruiters. I got my own connections that I want to use. DeBoer's done a good job bringing in a mix of his guys, but also keeping some Alabama SEC guys around and adding them to the coaching staff and in some cases promoting them as well. So again, DeBoer, he's impressed me. I think it was a great hire by Alabama. Wasn't so sure at the time. Maybe we'll call it a little East Coast bias there because we're over here on the East Coast, Washington, obviously way out West. But I tell you what, so far the way things are going, DeBoer is going to be a great head coach for the Alabama Crimson. 